Welcome to the Grandeur, a nine-foot concert grand with a deep sound that's also upfront and cutting. The Grandeur is at home in a wide range of musical genres thanks to its incredible sound shaping possibilities. In this video, we'll shine a light on this versatile instrument in pop, scoring, and classical settings. This special grand piano has a bright, assertive timbre perfect for pop music. For this song, we'll start from scratch with the basic grandeur snapshot. We'll need a more brilliant, percussive sound with a wider stereo image and some compression. Let's turn down the rest of the band. The perfect tool for opening up the tone and giving it more attack is the color knob found in the tone section. Color dynamically shifts the entire sample mapping between the softer and the louder samples. For this song, we'll leave it pretty much to the right. A little additional EQ adds some more air and a little less body. Next, we'll turn up the volume of the low keys to bring out the bass notes. For a tighter sound, let's use the compressor, which comes with a bunch of compression and tape saturation presets. For this song, we're using the Pop Piano preset. Now, let's switch to the anatomy page, which gives us control over dynamics, noises, pedal functions, and the stereo image. Turning this knob to the right widens the sound. Now, let's bring the band back in. Now on to something completely different, a smooth, slow scoring piece. This time, we'll take the levitating grandeur preset as a starting point. We'll smooth out the tone using color and enhance the top end by adding some air. As you see, tonal depth is switched on, adding resonance for a deeper sound, and sustain is enhanced using the transient slider. We'll use piano resonance for space by turning up volume and distance. The different pedal noises on the anatomy page are switched on already, but I want to raise the volume of the string noises especially for a deep noise effect. Finally, a little more pedal down resonance and a wider stereo image. And finally, here is an example of the grandeur playing classical piano music, a waltz by Chopin. I want to achieve the listening experience of the audience in a concert hall. First, we put the grandeur in a concert hall with some distance for a deeper spatial effect. And on the anatomy page, we'll switch the stereo image from player to audience and reduce the stereo width. Classical pianists often use the sustain pedal in a dynamic way to achieve sustain and resonance without getting a washy sound. This is called half pedaling. The sustain pedal is also often used right after a note release, which is called repedaling. For this piece, I switch both pedaling types on. Finally, I widen the dynamic range. <laughs> 